Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon, and we're working on the Battle of Golgotha, and we have to protect these basilisks. Now, the bad thing about this is you can't actually move them off of those squares there, or else the game thinks that they're all dead. So I've had to redo this, and I did end up giving our guys transports so I can get them down here as quick as possible since I can't move them around. So hopefully we won't suffer a lot of losses, otherwise we're going to have some major costs to get these guys going and replenished. And we, I think we're going to need to be saving resources because we're getting towards the end of this campaign. And we are getting pretty significant elite units. In terms of experience, I should say. And I'm not sure. We'll see how this uh, anti-tank gun works. I'm almost a little bit worried that I'm starting it so late into the campaign that it may not uh, be effective. And unfortunately, I think we just got to have these guys probably just act as uh, body blockers here since a lot of them are sluggas, so they shouldn't be able to get to us. At least that's my hope. The shooters will definitely be able to hit us. Ah, of course it's a hard train so you can't get there. Alright, well, I don't want to spend all the points to get that command squad back up. I just don't think it's going to be worth it. I'm already down to 11 requisition anyways. Well, there go my snipers. Those actually could have been nice to have. But they can't uh, get reaction fire. At range one, so the AI loves to attack them. Ugh, bad roll. I think we gotta kill these knobs here. command squad. Could run them down or I could put them into a transport I suppose. We'll just keep weakening them down so our ogrens can kill them. Of course he's got the support fire here. Pull those guys back. Um, I guess we can attack there, and the Ogrins can mop him up, although at four I don't think he really has to. Because he should just replenish his forces. Alright, let's see how that goes. I'm already down one basilisk. Uh, oh, there's two. Oh, interesting. He didn't reinforce. I would have thought for sure he was going to do that.
Uh, I was expecting you to get that kill. Probably work at the shooters. One. Grr. All right, good. He's down. You're down. Good. Shooting there. Definitely got to get you guys over here. Hmm. I may not even attack with that guy. Get you over here to body block, I guess. Probably have to move him back. I mean, I kind of want to take out these support fire guys. I guess we'll bring these guys down. I could probably keep working on taking out those shooters like we're doing here. Just keep firing into them. And work on those Gretchen since there's so many of them. As you saw, they totally wiped out our missile squad there. Yeah, he's definitely taking out my legionaries here. After my command squad. Um, well, why do I want to do this? Probably use the Hellhound since they actually work pretty well at doing damage to the support squads. Bring you around the side. Him down there in case he gets attacked. Of course, the mountain is blocking your way, so you can't see anything. And maybe we just sacrifice you guys to work on the big shooters here. Not bad. Good. Nice. If I bring you down here, you can body block. Ugh. Zero damage. Two damage. One damage. Dang it. Really don't want to waste a mortar shot on that. And I guess we can just kill one of these squads. Actually, I think I the Gretchen's probably the better target there because there's so many models and if he just reinforces, then we can just shoot them all down since we're getting guys in position. And I don't know what I want to do here. Maybe have you kill. Oh my god, I can't believe it. You couldn't kill one guy. What a command squad. A leader of men. He's got some sort of 
Oh, he's really coming after those Ogrens. there. Start working those guys down. Burners are down. Really should be working on those Ludus too. They're pretty dangerous. We also have to worry about the commandos and the tank busters too. Commandos, I'm most worried about them. I guess we can try to kill these Ludas. Oh, he's got one left. I definitely want them to die, so. See if he'll keep focusing down those Ogrens, I guess. We have that hellhound come around the side. We know he must have some sort of vehicles down there because he was shooting us with them. Oof. Indeed he does. Thankfully the tank busters are going after the weak infantry instead of attacking my bigger vehicles. We are dropping these guys. The difficult terrain has definitely given me some troubles here. out them commandos and I would like to get this guy down here because he's gonna have to help me take out those freaking tanks here do I bring these other guys over here to try to do damage to the tank too because at this rate we are pretty far behind and don't have great anti-vehicle stuff. Perhaps had I reinforced those Ogrens, I could use them to punch the tank. But we are in a bad way for sure. Alright, commandos are down at least. Yeah, so maybe I'm going to have to have my command squad run in here. Alright, so at least we're going to start moving this next turn, because it looks like I only have to defend him for six turns. So as long as he doesn't shoot my Basilisk, which he shouldn't because he doesn't have range on him, we should be able to run up here and start fighting. Hold three victory hexes. At least six of your core units must survive in addition to your company commander. Alright, six to six. 
Let's attack there. That was a good roll. That's a good roll. As you can see, I'm kind of cheesing it a little bit with some uh, reloads here. Alright, that was a good damage roll. And... Have you just come chop the tank with your sword? Yep, good. Sword was successful. Run those guys down to weaken the tank buster so my more expensive units can get the kill without taking a bunch of damage. Or he can just wipe them out. I suppose that works too. Crap. Attack there. Maybe we just end up hunkering down here. Looks like he's got more vehicles coming to charge me. We just have to come down here and take those spots. It's fine that he's attacking the Steel Legion one. I did not see what was attacking me. I'm guessing it's a war boss. Because it looked like it was about a range 3. Alright, good. Take out the squiggeth. Alright, let's try a little messing around here with some rolls to kill these things since I don't have good anti-vehicle stuff. There we go. And attack here. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so crazy with how variable the damage is on some of these things. It's like, I could go from doing zero damage to six damage there, and taking no damage to taking like eight damage, so it's like you just gotta keep rolling to see what you can get. But again, it just doesn't feel good to do that. Hmm, I thought there was a war boss over there, but maybe I was mistaken. Pretty sure those weren't weird boys. Ah, shit. We got the, uh... More dangerous squiggeth here. Hmm. Guess we can try to weaken them down. So that killed one of them. That was good damage not to suffer back. We can reinforce you. guys, I guess, can just attack into the weird boys. Move you up here. Reinforce our infantry. Keep pulling you guys back. Working on the hard boys there. Bring you there to help restore some morale. Reinforce. That looks good. Ah, uh, nope. Yeah, that is a war boss. Okay. <clears throat> I think those guys look so similar to. Uh, knobs I sometimes have trouble which is which. I think I do need to reinforce those ogrins. I'm just worried I'm going to have to fight stronger guys here given the force selection that's coming at me.
Well, I can just manually attack these guys, I suppose. Just about killed them. Keep advancing, see where these war bikes are going. Oh, I was kind of hoping he was going to slam into me and let me get an attack. Well, I can just move you over and let you attack into there. I'll start working down. Attack there. Just drop the war bike. Restore, because you're pretty injured. Advance with these guys. Block that, so those burner boys don't come over. Shit, we got shooters down here. Or the heavy support fire, whatever you call them. Um, I guess we attack here. Okay, good. Nice. Here we go. Now we'll just start shooting the burner boys down. Move you guys over here. Bring you there just to body block. Good roll. Ah. Damn it, he's got a Titan down there. Yeah, he just loves staking out my command squad. There we go. Nice. Alright, well, let's attack here. Back there. He's down. Hope we'll you here. Start working on the shooters. Perfect. Oh, that's right. I forgot he was down here. Damn it. Almost killed him. I guess you can just shoot into here. I don't know if I necessarily want you to attack that. Bring you to here. Shoot there. Okay, decent attacks. Maybe you can just run up and punch him. Sure can. Nice. When in doubt, have Ogrens punch things. Damn it. There's another one coming. Ooh, and a Death Dread. Thankfully, you got an incredibly bad roll there. I don't even know how far I want to push these guys. I mean, I am curious to know what he's got over here. I guess you're going to attack the Death Dread. I can bring you over to here. And probably pull you back. I'm not sure with those Hellhounds if I want to bring them down or retreat them. I'll just keep advancing a little bit over here. 
Restore some morale. Get those guys reinforced, assuming they're going to have to punch the... Orc Titan. Alright, I think those are knobs. So we should be able to just sit back and get some kills. Alright, set up some reaction fire. Reinforce you guys, assuming you're going to have to do some fighting. Same with you. Pull you guys back now that I know he's got a Titan over there. I think we just pull the Basilisk back, because I don't want the Death Dread and everybody to come after him. Bring the Ogrins down. Alright, we got a little bit of a problem going here. We got guys on both sides that are going to need to have units that can attack heavies. Uh, of course, he's got a regular death dread, dread coming for me, too. Oh, goodness. Well, I think we got to go after the Stompo, don't we? Oh, God. How do I want to do this? Got mega armor knobs down here. Use you to body block. Start working on the shooters over here. These guys can come down. And then probably just wanna come over here and then I can attack the mega armor knob to not get a reaction fire. But that means I gotta pull everybody else over here. If I come there. Um, I can focus those guys down. Alright, good. And hopefully the Death Dread will stay down here. And keep attacking our Iron Guard boys. You can come there. Bring you to here. Come there. Oh, God. Alright. Can attack there. I can just have you shoot, or I can move you up and try to protect this a little bit. In case that Death Dread will come after him, which is possible. I can bring you over here to try to restore the morale to our Basilisk. Actually, yeah, I think we need to just retreat, because I assume they're going to come in at the victory point here. In which case, they would definitely attack the Basilisk. Uh, that was a lot of damage. Make your escape by moving your guys across the bridge to the south. At least six must get there. Yeah, this is not going particularly well. Yeah, the Hellhounds definitely cannot damage the Stompa. I think we have to just take out this Death Dread. Okay, he's down. You guys shoot into these guys. Drop them. Alright, I think we're going to have to just attack these guys. Good. And now I can hopefully reinforce our guns. Get you up here. Really need to drop this guy down too. Before. I've got him down to two. I could work on the scorches. 
Don't think I want to melee him. Yeah, let's do that. Attack there. I don't have to worry about that thing trying to flank me if my one of my ogrens come up to try to punch the stampa. Pull you back. We can have you attack here. Alright, we did a little more damage. Reinforce him there. I'm a little worried the Death Roller is going to attack my Mortar team, but... Yep, I figured that was what's going to happen. Oh, that's Thraka right there. Great. Orcs come, Thraka comes. Orcs come, Thra Thraka comes. I can smell a stench. He thinks we are spent, but we shall fight to the final breath. Slay every last thinking Orc. Glory to the Emperor. Indeed. Nothing done, man. We are getting our butt kicked. Keep sniping them. Get you over here. This is a knob, isn't it? It sure is. Reinforce you. Uh. Right, pull you back. Let's take out that. Of course, he's got more artillery over here. You're injured. Oh, God. All right, well, at least we took out a model. That's the most important thing there. I'm gonna keep you at range three and just use the bolters. Those guys can't even damage the death roller there. Yep, Thraka is definitely coming for my guys. One damage. Two damage. Alright, good. He's down. He's down. Let's pull you back, have you shoot into here. Good. Pull you back. Thraka attacking there is not good. Ah, oh, Thraka actually has high initiative, so whoever attacks him is going to take damage. Let's get you down here. Here. Good. Have him shoot into there. Yeah, I think he's going to take too much damage if I do that. He'd have the Ulgrins to hit him. I think I'd rather the tank. Good, he's weakened quite a bit. You're there. And. Shoot there. Oh, almost got him. Of course, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Alright, he went into his battle wagon. And now he's dead. Shit. He's got another guy down here.
Alright, so well, hopefully he doesn't have anybody else hiding back here. Start running you guys down. Naturally. War boss, yep. Alright, he's down. Now we can just start bringing everybody else down here. And also try to maximize the five turns of additional requisition we can get. Because they are definitely guys we have to repair. And maybe I'll try to get the Steel Legion down here too, see if I get any sort of bonuses or anything. Because it looks like it, the big thing is just my core units. Yeah, see, I don't even have enough resources to uh, replenish all the guys I lost here. Alright, so this campaign is definitely coming to a close here. I think we have one or two more missions left before we're done. Again, just trying to move all the Steel Legions down here. I doubt it's going to have any effect. But we can make sure. That should give me enough room to move the rest of the guys in. Boom. Exactly enough guys. Isn't that nice? Uh, let's see here. Uh, so it's just some cannons are the only things that they had left. So pretty much cleared everything else out. Got a little bit of resources, but I have to spend a, you know quite a bit to get the Hellhound back up to full strength, but everybody else there looks pretty good. I don't think these guys will carry through to the next mission, but I figure we'll bring them down there just in case. Yark lost. A trap. To anyone who can receive this Vox transmission, we are withdrawing from the Golgotha system immediately. All forces must return to Hadron base and prepare for evacuation. Do not die here. The Emperor has given the Xenos enough lives. Head to Hadron and Salvation. Move your company commander to the airfield for evacuation at the end of turn 14. Send out an expedition from the garrison to clear a path. So it looks like we're coming from up top here. Yeah, pretty same forces. And we've got all these guys over here. And it looks like we're trying to get to uh, that for the airport. And we've got these guys up here. Problem is, is we don't have tons of uh, deployment areas here. So I've got one more guy than I do deployment. So, I guess the question is, is who do I want? I mean, we have to take out the commander, right? I mean, there's no way we can't do that. This one has the most experience. So really, the tank crew is the one that's least experienced, so I guess we're not going to bring him. In which case, we should probably just get rid of his transport and get those points back. Everybody else has the transport, right? Yep. Keep sneaking out there. There we go. Alright, well, I think this is the last level, if I remember correctly, because we had to get to the airport, and I remember it being kind of a tr troublesome mission here. Now we have a lot of artillery and things like that to help us, but like they said, I think we need to have a weak force to uh, assist, but the problem is, is there's not a whole lot here, so I don't know if I really can 
send much of a force out to assist. I think if I remember correctly, I had a hard enough time holding the position here and then just sending these guys down. But we'll figure that out next time. So thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe. Encourage me to post more content for you. Have a great day.